Hey, I've got a 2011 Ford Taurus SEL. The motor in the uh, driver's side window went out, so I had to replace it. Uh, give you a quick overview. I know there's some videos out there on how to remove the door panels, but basically the panel has three screws that you want to remove. Take those three screws out. To get the switch out, you just put a screwdriver in here and pop it out, and then hook your switch. Um, behind the door lever here is this uh, little panel here. It goes right in there. If you grab it from the back side with just like a hook or something, it'll pop right out. There's a 10 millimeter that pulls out of there. Another 10 millimeter that's underneath the door panel. This trim has to come off. Do it for the back and pull it out because there's a tab there. There is a screw here, a Phillips screw. I believe an 8mm screw that goes in there. Take that out. And then uh, the rest of it is just push pins that are on the back of the door that pop out. So they're not too awfully difficult to get this off. Um, one other thing you'll have to do is take the mirror adjustment off. It just basically pulls out. Once you have that off, you have your speaker here. There's three screws for the speaker. Take it out and disconnect it. Um, your wires for your motor are here for the window motor. There are three stu or two studs here. A stud here and a stud here. A 10 millimeter bolt here. Another stud here. And another one here. And that's for the window channel. This is obviously the window channel. Um, you've got your two studs, the bolt, and then two more studs. The motor is right here. The motor goes back in with, uh, I believe they were T30 Torx bolts that are right there. Um, One thing I'll show is right here on this tab, this is what hooks into the window. There's one on each side. Um, hopefully you can see them. Those go to the window right here. I've got a PV, piece of PVC holding the window, but they hook right in here. There's also one in the front. It's up underneath here. The issue I had was my window was all the way up. So I had to pull the window down some. I didn't know how to get it, so I hooked the motor back up and beat on it with a pair of a wrench. And the window came down enough to where I could just take and push this out and then lift the window out of the track. And then you can lift the whole track out and pull your motor out or the whole track and everything and place the motor up. I know it's not the best video, but hopefully it helps somebody because I found nothing on YouTube or anywhere so I had to replace these. Uh, if you got a question, shoot me a message or something and I'll try to answer.